doesn't make any sense. Rich people are terrible. We should eat them. Anyway. <laughs> Stupid reactions. Tune in for the <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. And we support cannibalism. <laughs> and you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Instagram and Twitter. Content. It's so juicy. You can also send Patreon, follow official Twitter account, ring the bell to be part of the notification squad, you little turd monkeys. <laughs> Today, there you go. we're reacting to a video. It's a Gordon Ramsay video. Uh, yeah. It's part of the whole series. You know, we've reacted to that little other one. Uh, this one, it's called Indian Guru Tries to Convince Gordon Ramsay to be Vegetarian, which one is a hilarious title. Wow. Which... Yeah, they, that's a funny title, and it's not going to happen. <laughs> no, this, if he wasn't a guru, I can imagine what he would, uh, if somebody suggested to Gordon Ramsay to go vegetarian, what he would say to them. But I don't think he will since he's a guru. But <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, the uh, I love also, Gordon Ramsay. Not saying vegetarianism is bad. We're making jokes, so shut up. Anyways, especially uh, especially since at the intro, I had no idea what it was we were doing for this video, and we were promoting cannibalism. So hi. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is a, a, a little video from his little Gordon's Great Escape. Uh, awesome. looking, looking forward to it. I don't think it's like a, just conversation. I think it's like them cooking stuff and trying stuff. Yeah, they're going to do vegetarian cooking like he did when he was in Calcutta and he did the street cooking there, right? It's probably. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. Three, awesome. Two, one, go. My guru's name is Sadguru. Is that the good guy we react to? Yogi. I believe it is. Yeah. Nice car. Oh, nice beard, bro. I've heard his cooking is the best in the state. Oh, dang. Is that That's him? To use to get around. Now, uh, people always have this idea, being holy means being impractical. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I like this guy. I don't think this is the same guy. One million children. <laughs> Sadhguru's ashram is the Aisha Center. It gets over 700,000 visitors a year. He's a popular Maharishi, and he's looking a bit more serious now. I'm very excited to be here. More nervous than excited. Um, never gone two days of my life without eating meat. Your system is essentially yeah. designed <laughs> oh, to handle vegetarian diet. Right. If you eat according to that, it, it handles food effortlessly. Yes. Every human experience has a chemical basis in the system. Right. So if you want to create the right kind of chemistry, there are various things that one can do. Yes. One of the things is food. If you create a chemistry of blissfulness, that's how you are all the time. That's impossible. <laughs> I'm not going to argue in your temple, that's for sure. I'm dying to see the kitchens. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. So the guru reckons being I vegetarian clean. makes you a joyful, calmer person. If that's true, then his kitchens must They're be making the happiest places on earth. The size of this place. Wow. It's a veggie hangout. Look at all those vegetables. Are they grown, are they grown here? Uh, a bit of it. Not that's incredible. Okay. Okra! And here are the light cheese. Would you like one? I'd love one, please. Thank you. How long are you here for? Um, for a while. For a while. So you're breaking the fundamental rule. Nobody ever eats in the kitchen. Before the food is being offered to everybody, they never What? Eat. You can't eat around food. We're always picking in kitchens, no? Fancy Chefs cucumber? always pick. Fancy a light Constantly. cheese? Constantly. Tasting you what you're making? You're into trouble. We're not allowed to eat in the kitchen. <laughs> How many meals would you be cooking About for today? 7,000. 7,000. 7,000 7, vegetarian like meals. Yes. Well, that breaks my heart. <laughs> <laughs> the 70 chefs are mostly unpaid volunteers who work seven days on the trot, feeding visitors to the ashram. Where's the meat like section? Like the Golden Temple. <laughs> yeah. The meat is here. Where's the meat <laughs> section? <laughs> what is this section? They are making a special type of chapati. 7,000 in for dinner tonight, and look how calm it is. How come the kitchen's so calm? Because they're not eating meat, right? <laughs> Because it's the Heaven's Kitchen. <laughs> heaven's, heaven's Kitchen. Heaven's Kitchen. <laughs> I like that. The Guru's nice Tower is eating a community yeah, dining hall in total silence. Men and women sit in separate lines. And that's just like the Golden Temple. Oh, Golden Temple. Tonight's the Golden Temple. is a raw salad of red cabbage and sweet corn. Tomato mm. chutney with lentils and cottage cheese. It's not exactly oh. silver service. Eating in silence isn't easy for someone like me. Fortunately, 
I've made a new friend. You can even keep your feet to the side like this. That's fine. I'll try and cross the... <laughs> he can't even cross his legs. Another way, just stretch both your legs out. What? Yes. And sit. Uh, do you mind if I do that? This is called uh, grandmother style. Grandmother style. <laughs> it's incredible. I feel so bad. I can't cross my legs. <laughs> Yeah. He, you, uh, he needs to do some stretching. Also makes the body loose and flexible as well. So you're saying if I become a vegetarian, my body will become a lot more veg a lot more flexible. That possibility. Is there. <laughs> I, can, I can sit down, but I can't get to my food. <laughs> Certainly, of course. Thank you. Food is actually delicious. What amazes me is not just the level of integrity, but the volume of what they cook for, because it's done with such precision. Have you ever asked for more? If you want, we can get it. Yeah. I never thought I'd say this, but that veggie meal has left me feeling happy and full. Wow. Wow. That reminds me of our room in Delhi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are these? Bedtime at 10 p.m. <laughs> Yesterday was a surprise, but I've not been turned into a veggie disciple yet. I love Gordon Ramsay. I do too. We've not had breakfast yet. The guru's cooking his speciality. The popular masala dosa is a pancake made with dal and rice batter. That smells good. It smells very good. It's mildly fermented. Mm -hmm. That's the potato. It's an art to get the dosa right because you have to ferment it to exactly the right uh, proportions. Mm. That's delicious. It's very crispy. Mm -hmm. See, this is a pepper curry. You just try a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. The pepper comes straight from our backyard. Mm. It's organically grown. Thank you. Try oh, dang. Spicy. It could be a little spicy for mm -hmm. you. Yeah, no, I like that. I've been won over by the delicious food but I'm not yet convinced by the guru's reasoning. For me, a vegetable, a vegetable is as alive as a chicken or a lamb or That's whatever else you so eat. wrong. It is not wrong. Are you saying that a carrot has the same feelings as a chicken? That's not the point. Feelings does not mean emotions. They are sensitive to life around them. Yes. Do you understand? But you've killed it. you pulled it from the ground. You pulled it from the ground, but it's no, no. not dead. But if you plant it, it will grow. You take such a high moral ground in terms of no meat eating whatsoever. Food is not a morality. Food is a question of well-being. So are you saying that I would be happier for the second half of my life without eating meat? You will be calmer and more, more <laughs> at ease. But I am calm. I am. I don't think the world thinks so. <laughs> about your family. You wouldn't know you don't have any televisions here. So, <laughs> let's agree to disagree, yes? Spud, potato, I actually lover. find... I actually would describe Gordon as actually being no, a predominantly calm guy. Yeah. It's taken a long time, but you heard it here first. I'm calling a ceasefire with vegetarians. If you're ever thinking of going vegetarian, then get to an ashram quickly, because that's the confirmation of how good it can be. Get it. Get to India. I think he's gesticulating much less than yesterday. Don't you notice that? <laughs> he's funny. First of all, I'm definitely more chilled out. There's no two ways about that. Um, yeah, it has been uh, an experience. The guru has one final request before we say goodbye. One day in a week, if you eat this kind of food, you, one, would, know the, you would know the difference. One day a week? And you yeah. think I'd notice a significant oh, yes. impact? You will definitely notice that. I can't believe you're saying that. Huh? Because just before I left for India, my wife was suggesting that the children go vegetarian. So she knows. One day a week. <laughs> Have you been talking to her behind my back? No, 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 no. no? <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with one day. Good. <laughs> Try and see. On the back of the experience here, yes, I'm going to consider it. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay's not becoming a vegetarian. No. Uh, <laughs> no. I mean, it's sweet of him to say, but he's not becoming a vegetarian. Ah, uh, that was good. I enjoyed that. That guru is hilarious. He's a funny guy. Yeah, he is. I don't He's think that's very witty. I don't think that's the same guru. He looks... I think it is. It is? He wasn't as funny in the, in the other videos. 
No, because I think it was the difference of the the people who were talking to him. Gordon was much more lighthearted and not afraid to be combative with him in a little joking sense. But also, that was legit when he was talking to him. I would have loved to have seen more of that conversation when they were talking about when he was disagreeing with him about you know uh, emotions yeah. and. I, w- I was actually but, hoping but, they were going to be going on uh, uh, with me that too. conversation because it was it's interesting because you know how I feel I like I me and my wife eat predominantly a vegetarian diet outside of um chicken and that's the only meat we usually ever eat is chicken Mm -hmm. uh usually unless it's like something served to us but like if we're making something in our house it'll either not have any meat or it'll have chicken (laughs) and that's basically it but we went vegan even for for a while um it's just in india it's much much easier to be vegetarian than it is to be vegetarian in the united states because money it's Mm -hmm. cheap it's cheap in india to be vegetarian it's really cheap in india to be vegetarian it's actually more expensive i think to be vegetarian in america than it is to eat meat and vegetarian options are far more predominant in india than they are here yeah well la far more more than most uh, <laughs> well, and and beef beef in India is a is a luxury. It's an extremely expensive commodity. If you eat meat, what you're typically eating, if it's lamb. in the red category, is going to be goat or lamb. Yeah, it's not going to be beef. Beef is not a common, at least in our experience that we've we've had. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I I hesitate to make any comments that are in any way contradictory because i remember what happened the last time i even espoused an idea that was in slight contradiction to anything the guru said and there was an enormous backlash uh so i will say this uh i i was vegetarian for two two years of my life Mm -hmm. and at that time as it is now a predominant driver for what i eat is based on my worldview and stewardship of self and stewardship of the planet and uh, I loved and wished we could have seen more of oh, that. Con- I know it went longer. Yeah, that conversation between the two of them. I really would have loved to have seen them talk a little bit more in that yeah. regard. Because I think they obviously would have agreed to disagree in the end. And I would have loved to have heard both sides of it. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been really interesting. I don't know if that video is out there. Of, obviously, they cut it up to be like um, for the for the Internet uh, to be more it's seven minutes 45 seconds it's just more digestible yeah short form content yeah. more people will watch it than if it's a much longer video and that's just how you yeah. works um but yeah that was great I, I love that let us know more videos of this um that uh that guru was really really funny i liked him a lot he was <laughs> he was uh made lots of jokes he was riding a motorcycle i liked him he was cool uh, I'd love to talk to him. He, he seems like a, a cool guy. I like conversations where people have opposing views, but they're both really respectful um, of their views. And a then, lot of people could learn from that. The exception being when, like, it gets into politics, uh, and then some people's views. Oh yeah. Like, the exception well, is no. like, well, certain people's views are like racist, and I don't, <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> But everything else, I've, like meat eaters, vegetarians, religion, oh, non-religious, I like all those conversations, but uh, some, some I've kinds had, of views I've, I don't respect. <laughs> I've had some conversations with people that have to do with whether or not you should be vegetarian or not mm. that turned into just just downright – they they became bloodbaths because the, the other party – just would not allow any point of disagreement. They were right, and I was wrong. So, are they from Texas? That sounds about. That sounds about Texas. It- <laughs> Our stupid reactions. Tune in for.